Welcome. So what I want to do is I want to work through a problem for you that's going to be dealing with the angle of depression. So on this problem, it says a boat is d feet from shore. A person standing on the dock is 25 feet above water level. The angle of depression to the boat in the dock is going to be 30 degrees. Find the distance of the boat from the dock. So first of all, what we have is we have an angle of depression, right? And remember, angle of depression is going to be an angle that is going to be below a horizontal line. So right now we have an angle of depression, and the angle of depression, we're going to say is going right here, and they said that that angle of depression is going to be 30 degrees. And from that angle, what that angle of depression, what that horizontal line is, is going to be, you could kind of say from uh, the dock or ground level. So we have a nice little dock where a person is standing, right? Looks like they have a tail or something. So the person is standing above water level, which is going to be here. And from them on the dock, there's an angle of depression going down to this boat. All right. And what we, the only thing we notice about this boat is that it is 25 feet below this, um, 25 feet below uh, the sea level, or this is above, if we're saying here's water level, we're saying this, this dock is 25 feet above water level. And what they want us to figure out is how far is, the, is this person away from the boat? So we need to look at this and say, all right, let's make sure we create a right triangle. So we have a right angle here, we have the height, and we have the side. Now what I need to do is I have this angle, but right now that's my angle of depression, right? To be able to work this inside my triangle, if I know that this is a 90 degree, then this is going to be 90 degrees. If this is 30, then I can say that this angle is now going to be 60 degrees. So by assuming, or by taking in that this is 30 degrees, this is 60 degrees, that I'm making a perpendicular line straight down and creating a horizontal line that's going to create my 90 degree angle, I can now use my trigonometric, um, trigonometric properties to be able to figure out what my distance of x is. So therefore, I can say that if here's my angle and I have an opposite side over an adjacent side. So I could say by using my tangent, or when I, when I have a triangle and I'm having the opposite and my adjacent side, I know I'm going to use tangent of theta. So tangent of my theta, which is now 60 degrees, is going to equal x over 25. Now to solve for x, I say x equals, I multiply 25 on both sides, and I obtain the tangent of 60 degrees. So now I'm just going to take my handy calculator, and I'm going to say 25 times the tangent of 60 degrees, which is going to be x, which equals 43.30. And our original uh, height of our problem was dealing with uh, feet, so that this distance is also going to deal with feet. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you deal with the problem with the angle of depression. Thanks.